Now the pitch where we pit two leading ad agencies against each other. The challenge? To sell the unsellable. The winner receives this new formula Gruen trophy, now with less than six grams of fat. Tonight we've asked our ad agencies to convince parents that plastic surgery is right for kids under ten. <laughs> Can they cut it? Please welcome from Ward 6, Hugh Fitzharding. <laughs> and from HT McGill. All right, Hugh, how did you slice and dice it? Um, we decided to target nouveau wealthy women with um, social aspirations, and then we tapped into a growing trend, and um, we decided to use a credible doctor to deliver our message. Oh, great. Let's have a look. There's nothing more hot right now than adopting a third world child, but it can be expensive. International air travel, paying off local authorities, not to mention the danger of visiting geopolitical hotspots. Why go to the trouble of getting your new child from overseas when you've got one in your very own backyard? <laughs> With our new advanced plastic surgery techniques, we can turn little Duncan into Duncanby, <laughs> Dunlan, or Dun El Khatimbai. <laughs> With your new global family, you will be the must-invite guests to every barbecue, <laughs> dinner party, or human rights benefits concert. So if you're looking for the kind of social currency you can only get from adopting a third world child, give us a call today. Very good. Very good. Angelina Jolie will be on the phone straight away. <laughs> Matt, what was the secret to getting it right? Well, we, we approach the problem with the view that um, kids today can be horrible little shits. So whatever you do for them, they just never seem to be happy. They just give you attitude and grief. So all we try to do is turn that situation around for the parent, put them in control, and change that for good. Let's have a look. Right, look straight ahead. You're going to love this. Surprise! I wanted a f***ing white one, Daddy. <laughs> Darling, wait. It's a nice horsey. <laughs> oh, this looks delicious. <laughs> Jessica, I want you to apologise to Nat. Sorry, Dan. It's uh, a bit of a phase she's going through. Hey, Mum! Call this ironed? Yes, I call it ironed. And where are my shoes? I can't find them anywhere. Shoes are in your cupboard where I put them when I pick them up off the floor. So annoying! Just look! Put the smile back on their face. Permanently. Both amazing ads. I don't, I don't know how we're going to split them this way, Russell. I'm going to go with the first one just because of just the, the way the doctor was, had, just came across with such authority and yet he was doing something so horrendously cruel. <laughs> Jane, what did you think? I thought they were both extraordinary. Um, and I, I'm going to pick the other one, not because I necessarily liked it any better than the first one, but because he picked the first one. <laughs> and I want you to come out even. <laughs> All right, Matt. Yeah, I usually go from the opposite to Russell principle as well. So <laughs> I'm going to go the, for the second one. All right, yeah. OK, Todd. These are just great examples of uh, uh, how we can change the world with our ideas. <laughs> 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 Um, I, I like the first one a lot. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, so I go for the first one. Well, well I think it's a draw. It, it, I think this is the first time in the history of the show we've got a draw. Well, I mean, congratulations. Uh, here's a trophy for you. And uh, luckily, I have a second trophy I prepared early. Here's one for you. Congratulations. Cool. If we were any tougher, we'd rust. <laughs>